Hey guys, Bob Nugent. It's uh, February 25th. Um, we had a couple good days of running here. Uh, today's Wednesday. I came up, I'm not having a great Wednesday. So I came up here this morning. I'm in the chat, the sap house right now. It's not very big. And uh, check on the sap situation. I found my the vacuum pump. The motor was running, but the vacuum wasn't running. And to find out, this is a uh, coupling. These teeth are supposed to be over here as well. It, uh, as you can see, there's no more teeth. So the motor was spinning, but no pumping was happening. So I'm gonna try. I found this little bit of tubing, and what I'm hoping to do, because there's still teeth on the inside, see them there. Um, maybe I can jam this in there and wedge it, and maybe make it work for tonight for till it freezes i don't know see what happens i have uh have a couple coming from a mail order catalog because no one in town has these they all have the other style but so i'm trying to uh show you what i got going on here so that piece goes in don't worry about that so that piece goes in between these two so We'll see what happens. I'll keep you all informed, so stand by. Hi guys, so um, I didn't get the little tube in, but let's see if I can set you over here. Okay, good, you can see it. So, I can't really see me, but, so I got that in there, um, and all there is is little Allen screws, set screws, and there's a hole right there two on each one and you want to get them tight but you don't really need to reef on them but the problem I see is this the motor and this don't quite line up right so I'm pretty sure that's why it wore out but for right now I'm going to try to get it to work so we'll see so I'll leave you there and let's see what happens here we go be working um so that's good so i got a uh, guard to put back on i didn't really want to leave my phone there and watch the whole thing blow up hopefully it doesn't happen but i'm gonna put the guard on and see what happens so hopefully it'll work so i got my stuff picked up and i put that guard on and I'm gonna see what happens here i really hope uh hope this is gonna work um you know, it's can't blame anybody but myself. I said uh, when I got it, I just I picked it up. I said to myself, you know, you could probably should get another one of them. And when I'm here, I thought about it and was like, you know, I gotta make sure I order one of them. And then when I leave, I forget about it. And the worst part is, me and the big dog were talking about it yesterday at work and. You know, about how, I told him how it was, I noticed a lot, some black uh, chunks of rubber, because it's all, that's, that piece is made out of rubber. And so the whole point of it is, when you turn that electric motor on, it doesn't, it cushions the start between the motor and the vacuum pump. And I noticed on the platform it's on that they were starting to get like black chunks, which we use these at same kind of couplings at work, but they're bigger. And if we don't get them lined up just right, they'll do that. So I found, and I hopefully I fixed it for time being, I'm going to keep an eye on it. The bolts that actually hold the electric motor to the uh, skid unit it was on were loose. So I tightened all them up as best I could. Um, I need to find some washers to put underneath because what's happening is there's no washer on the head of the bolt. So the bolt's actually pulling up into the wood. 
which sounds like a good idea, but it's able for the bolt to move, to vibrate, and work its way into the wood more. So, but if this can get me up and going for the night, that'll be great. Um, I think I only got, I looked in the tank earlier when I first got here and I had about 75 gallons. I pumped what was in the, st the stock tank over so I could work in there a little easier. So I might have 100 gallons. I'm debating on lighting the fire or not. I might just because it's supposed to be nasty tomorrow and Friday and I believe even Saturday. So yeah, we're still building pressure. Well, vacuum, sorry. I always want to say pressure, but it's not pressure, it's vacuum. We appear to be building it. Doesn't sound too bad. Here, I'll take you guys in so you can see. Oh, we're up to 23 inches. See if I can get it so you guys can see it. Which I had 25 and a half before. Doesn't sound that great. run for a little bit longer and see what happens but I have a feeling because there's not the outer uh, teeth I do believe it is slipping because you can kind of smell like burning belts burning rubber so we'll see what happens I'm gonna leave it I'll go down to the house go in the shack see what's going on in the tank see how many gallons I have and decide what I'm going to go. Well, go. <laughs> decide what I'm going to do from there. It has been. It wasn't a great sap day, so I'm not horribly upset because, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. No, I don't think so. I think I better shut it off. Yep. Nope. It's not gonna not gonna cut the cheese it's not gonna do it unfortunately so I guess until my new ones show up tomorrow the vacuum pump is off and so which oh well we tried kind of sad so we're relying on mother nature to send us sap and like I said today is not a very good sap day so she did not send us very much sap today. Oh well. Did it die again? Yep, it died again. Let's get your address label back down. Say hi, Kate. Hi, Bobby. Well, no, it's YouTube. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, I tried. That was her first debut on YouTube. So, anyway, y'all have a fine day. Bye.